Hello and welcome to Courageous Compounds, the number one chemistry course around campus. I'm Hannah Copeland and today we'll be exploring the structure of aluminium oxide and why it is very important to me and I'm assuming a lot of you out there too. Aluminium oxide is a chemical compound containing aluminium and oxygen. It is commonly referred to as alumina with the chemical formula Al2O3. Alumina is a white crystalline powder that is found as balls or lumps of various mesh sizes. It is found in many different modifications, the natural form occurring in corundum. Rubies and sapphires are gem quality forms of corundum, which owe their, ca their characteristic colours to trace impurities. There are three main properties of aluminium oxide. It is insoluble, it has a very high melting point, and it is very hard and very strong. These properties are due to certain features of the compound's molecular structure. As I mentioned before, aluminium oxide has a molecular formula of Al2O3, which means its structure formula can be represented like this, with the green balls representing aluminium ions and the purple balls representing oxygen ions. The reason there are three oxygen atoms and two aluminium atoms is not by random assignment. An oxygen ion has a charge of negative 2, while an aluminium ion has a charge of positive 3. To make the compound of neutral charge, there must be two aluminium ions and three oxygen ions. As aluminium only has three valence electrons compared to oxygen, which has six, it is a lot easier for aluminium to lose three electrons than oxygen to lose six electrons. There are double bonds here and here because aluminium is sharing two electrons with the oxygen ion to complete oxygen's orbital of eight electrons. The middle oxygen receives the remaining electron from each aluminium ion, hence why the single bond is present. Aluminium oxide, like many solid substances, exists as a network of atoms, which can be shown like this. You can see that in this structure, that each Al2O3 is carefully bonded to form a lattice system, which makes alumina very strong and very hard to break. Within this lattice structure, each aluminium ion is octahedral, which means six oxygen atoms are symmetrically arranged around one central aluminium atom. Here is an example. It can also be seen in the lattice structure. The bonding in each atom is ionic, like many lattice structures, with a slight conveyance due to the electron sharing. Although for the purpose of this structure, we can refer to the bonding as purely ionic. So how does this structure allow aluminium oxide to be important to me? Well, due to the st strong interatomic forces, aluminium oxide is insoluble and is kept from ionic desiccation, whether in water or not. It is chemically resistant as large amounts of energy are required to separate the ions. Now, as you can probably tell from my accent, I am from London, but I was born in Saudi Arabia, so I've spent many hours in a plane flying back and forth visiting friends and family. As aluminium is three times lighter than steel, it is a perfect material to use for the exterior skin of the aircraft. Even though aeroplanes are frequently exposed to rain and snow, they never rust. And this is because a thin layer of aluminium oxide forms on the surface of the aluminium metal, serving as a chemically, chemically inert, protective, rust-resistant shield. As it doesn't corrode and is very strong and abrasive, it is also used as a main material in hip replacements, with this insolubility meaning that it is well tolerated by surrounding tissue and resistance to wear, which, believe me, my nan is very thankful for. Anyway, I've got to finish up, otherwise I shall miss my flight. Tune in next week for some more Courageous Compounds.